So it's a lovely wet evening here at the shelter. Bit of a wet afternoon, Friday afternoon. I'm all nice and dry here at the at the shelter in the bush. Beautiful. Feels looking good. Fire's looking toasty. So I've been doing bike and bushcraft for over a year now and every once in a while I get some really good feedback and some nice comments and the, the kind lads at Food Over Fire have uh, got in contact and given me some gear to try out so tonight I'm going to be trying out their knife here. It comes with this awesome little canvas sheaf. It's going to be awesome to cut up my veggies and my chicken. It's, it's bloody solid so yeah I'm looking forward to that. They've also been kind enough to give me one of their Food Over Fire travel bras. So this is a full stainless steel travel right? It all folds down, really, really lightweight, all packs together and folds nicely into a little pouch. So I'm really looking forward to this. I've got a butterfly chicken that I've got planned to cook in this tonight. So cheers guys. Um, I'm looking forward to, to trying this out tonight. For dinner tonight, I'm gonna be Dropping everything. So for dinner tonight, I'm going to be making a butterfly chicken, which I'm going to cut down and uh, put into my travel brine. So I'm also going to be uh, making a little bit of a sauce using this Cully's Chipotle honey. I've got some seasoning to dress the chicken, a little bit of oil. Also got a couple of potatoes, which I'm going to cut up. And some carrots. I'm going to put them in a little bit of tin foil and then put them over the coals. So I'm going to have a, a butterfly chicken and some uh, roast potatoes and, and veggies. So we'll get to it, eh? So I'm going to cut these veggies using this food over fire cleaver. So I'm pretty sure this is going to make light work of all these veggies here. Oh man, easy peasy. Just drop me whole carrot there. So I am going to be roasting these, so I kind of want to have them in nice little chunks. So you can check out Food Over Fire at foodoverfire.co.nz They do a whole lot of different cooking wares and barbecue stuff, rubs and spices, a whole lot of knives and uh, yeah I was kind enough to speak to Sean and he hooked me up with some gear to test out. Alright let's see how it does with these potatoes. Bloody hell, got a couple of eyes in there, get out of it. You bloody dirty holes. Well, that was easy. <laughs> Jeez, man. There's nothing to it, eh? I like this. Yeah, yeah they do like it. Well, it definitely makes light work of all these potatoes. and toss a little bit of oil in there with some seasoning. And then we're gonna chuck some seasoning in there. Give it a bit of a, a seasy seize. Sweet. Easy as that. All right, let's roll those up. So I'm gonna be butterflying this chicken or spatchcocking this chicken. I've got this Ingham's whole chicken here. Whoa. Straight out. Alright, so let's get this out of the bag. Alright, let's get the chicken here. I'm just going to get rid of. Oh. So, when we're spatchcocking our chicken, I've seen it done a few different ways. I've seen some people cut directly through the backbone with scissors. Uh, generally, they sort of cut from here downwards cut out the whole back section but I'm not going to bother with any of that um, I've seen some people cut along here and along here and make it into two halves so that you've got two halves to cook and then they'll slice that I'm not going to do that either I'm just going to do the really basic method of just cutting down 
the breast. All right, so I'm gonna cut along here and then I'm gonna separate it and then I'm gonna butterfly it that way. What you wanna do is you just wanna cut along here Right, so we've separated our two halves there. This was bloody perfect for that. Really, really easy work. All right, and then you can tuck your wings under if you really want to during the cocking process. Okay, cool. Alrighty, so that's our chicken butterfly. If you're down at the shops, and you see a whole chicken, don't be afraid. It's really not difficult to butterfly your own chicken. Um, it will save you a hell of a lot of money. Now I'm gonna go ahead and season the hell out of this. So this is my own mix. All sorts of barbecue spices. Make sure you get all in there. Coat the breasts, just give them a bit of a coat, slap it. Mmm, mmm, wonderful, dully, mmm, mmm, tasty. Okay, oh, I get that bit there. Coat the hell out of it. Don't let any bits go naked. Give it a good season everywhere. Okay, so when you think that you've had enough seasoning, give it some more. Now I'm gonna start putting it in the travel bry. So to do that, get your chicken. All right, chuck it in your bry. The next thing you wanna do is get the top of your bry lock it into the two pins, push your chicken down, cool, and then lock her up. So I'm going to set up the bry stand and then I'm going to chuck this chicken on there and get to cooking, eh? Cool, so I'm going to leave that on and then just continually turn it um, every now and again just so it cooks evenly. But I've got some manuka wood down there, um, so it's giving it a bit of heat, a bit of smoke, and uh, eventually that'll turn into more coals, and then I'll just keep feeding it up. Oh, it's smelling good. That chicken is looking and smelling good. This little uh, travel dry, working pretty well so far. I'm pleasantly surprised. It's a good size. It's cooking my meat evenly. So I've just coated that with some barbecue sauce, and I'm gonna let that cook for the next 10 or so minutes. Juicy, moist, smoked chicken. That is bloody awesome. Okay, I'm a big fan of wings as well. Cut me off some wings. Make that plate. Oh, almost lost it. Oh. 
Let's see how these uh, veggies turned out. It's like a pass the parcel. Oh, look at that. Beautiful. Oh, yeah. Steamed veg. That's what I'm talking about. Alright guys, I've cooked my dinner, you know what time it is, it's time for that gratuitous B-roll footage. So, I just want to thank Sean at Food Over Fire for hooking me up this travel braai. I'm just going to try these wings first. Wings are always the one that I go for. Holy shit, man. I don't usually swear on my channel. But that's worth saying. That is a delicious chicken one. So the smoke flavour comes through immediately. Um, that Minoka smoke is just perfect to smoke this chicken. Um, the seasoning I used was my, my normal uh, barbecue season. So that was like a combination of like chili and coffee and to branch over and all that. But because I hadn't used uh, uh, bry before, I sort of had it at different, different heights just to see how it cooked and where its burning points were. I found if I had it on the higher level, it was generally kind of a, a slow cook, so I quite like that. So I was just left to, to slow cook, and then later on, once the coals and stuff burned down, I kind of uh, lowered it and then gave it a bit of a, a sear. But they are perfect. Perfect. So I just finished my dinner, I'm just chilling out by the fire. So. I'll give this a, a bloody 10 out of 10 rating to be honest because straight out of the canvas pouch it was sharp enough to cut through the breastplate. I, I reckon I could have bloody boned out that whole chicken with this and the vegetables was easy, easy as. It's bloody sharp, good quality, heavy in the hand and it's um yeah it's really nice to cut with. Um, I am definitely going to be adding this to my kids so cheers, cheers for that lads, I really appreciate that. Um, I'd never used a, a, a bribe before, so it was all a learning curve to me. I did, um, I did experiment with different heights. I preferred the, the higher level. It just, yeah, it, it cooked the chicken on uh, a slow heat. I was, you know, I could uh, build up the fire underneath with more manuka and then provide more of a coal base. Later on in the cook, I lowered the level and I kind of burned the chicken. But um, yeah, that was to be expected. I was kind of experimenting. But will I add it to my kit? Uh, yeah, I probably will. I, I really want to try making some toasted sandwiches in it, and uh, a steak, and uh, yeah, some other bits and pieces. So yeah, uh, I will I will be using that in the future. Yep, another 10 out of 10 rating for that, guys. So if you want to check out either the knife or the bry, go to foodoverfire.co.nz and uh, check them out. Yeah, cheers for coming, guys. It was another awesome outing. Hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you in the next one, eh?